We're looking at possibly having automated driving um, late 2020. Um, connected vehicles are going with that. Even though that still sounds like it's a long ways away, it's not. And we have a lot of work to be done in pulling together what the communications approaches and standards are across security, support of the communications on how it will affect automated driving. And I think that's a key role for ITU that has been a great participant in the work with the UN um, World Forum for Harmonization of Vehicle Regulations. There are a number of issues where people's lives are at risk in how we do the communications and how we do automated driving. And there needs to be a regulatory um, set of rules that protect the public in the rollout of these technologies. The, the key standards are, first of all, how you have full security for the communications of a connected vehicle, particularly as it moves towards actually updating the vehicle control software. Um, that's um, absolutely in the purview of ITU, and ITU has done a very good job in taking the lead of it. And if we have the security right for communications, then the rest of the things will follow. Well, we know for current um, car communications, they've been hacked already very significantly. Um, the work as we move from information and multimedia type things where the results of the hacking are unfortunate loss of information, but they don't affect people's lives. We move to the plans to be able to actually um, revise and update the software for vehicle control as we learn how to do things better in the automated driving. We have to make sure that that's absolutely unhackable, perfectly done, and that's a complete different effort than what's done in multimedia, smartphones, and other things. It's going to reduce accidents substantially. Um, that's the public safety issue. Not only does it reduce deaths, but it will significantly reduce the people who are disabled because of vehicle accidents, which is a, uh, still a major, um, even in developed areas like Europe, um, the number of people disabled are many hundreds of thousands each year because of vehicle accidents. So we have to be able to cut those things down. There's hundreds of major challenges. It's tough technology. We really don't know how to do it. We're gonna be learning. We have to have cooperative learning and we have to have a real um, support on the public authorities in educating the consumer and helping us put these technologies out when they're not perfect, but where they will have a significant reduction in the deaths and serious injuries um, so that we can get them on the, on the market and not wait for perfection.